Hey guys, it's Matt with bleepinjeep.com and today I want to go over one of the most common questions that I get. But first check out my website, bleepinjeep.com. We've got all the best off-road videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff. We've also got hats and Bleep and Jeep t-shirts, muffler bearings, flux capacitors, and discount coupons codes. So check it out, bleepinjeep.com. Also subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out the Facebook page as well. Alright, let's get started. So. One of the most common questions that I get is, when I put my Jeep in four-wheel drive and go for a test drive, it starts popping and won't go around corners. What is wrong? Well, I know this sounds like a newbie question, but it happens to the best of us. I actually did this when I was 16. I got my first car. It was a Jeep. It was four-wheel drive, so I wanted to experience it. So I put it in four-wheel drive and take a test drive around the neighborhood. Well that was a bad idea. Do not use part-time four-wheel drive on pavement. Now I understand where people get confused. There's a lot of terminology out there. There's part-time four-wheel drive, there's full-time four-wheel drive, there's all-wheel drive, there's select track four-wheel drive, all kinds of different things and every auto part manufacturer wants to call it something different to be different. But for your purposes, all you really need to know is that there is part-time four-wheel drive, full-time four-wheel drive, and all-wheel drive. But for the Jeep, mainly you're going to have these two different selections. You've got two high, four high, neutral, and four low. And over here you've got two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive part-time, four-wheel drive full-time, neutral, and four-wheel drive low. Now this is all part-time over here or these, sorry, these two are part-time, four high and four low are part-time. And over here, you've got uh, part-time and part-time and then full-time four-wheel drive. Now, I understand why this can be a little bit perplexing, but if it is, all you really need to know is that four full-time is the only one that you can drive on the pavement in four-wheel drive. I'll be right back. So, in part-time four-wheel drive, your front and rear are locked together. Let's take the example of this bicycle. On a standard bicycle, you have a chain going around the rear tire. When you pedal, that spins. In this example, in part-time four-wheel drive bicycle, we've also got a chain going around the front tire. So when you pedal, both tires are locked together and they spin at the same time. Everything is fine if you're going along in a straight line. But what happens whenever you want to go in a tight circle? Well, when you go in a tight circle, your front wheel has to travel a lot further than your rear wheel. So, what's going to happen? Either the front tire is going to start dragging along the ground, the rear tire is going to start dragging, or you're going to break something. So, without getting into too much of the details, what I'm trying to say here is you can only drive on pavement in two-wheel drive, full-time four-wheel drive, or in a fancy all-wheel drive car. You can only drive in part-time four-wheel drive when your surfaces are slippery enough to allow for slippage. Let's take this same bicycle and now we're driving it around in mud. It's going to be okay to drive around in a tight circle because the mud is going to allow for slippage which means you're not going to break a gear or your chain. Alright guys, I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to check out the website bleepinjeep.com where we've got hats and t-shirts, videos and a lot of cool other stuff. So check it out bleepinjeep.com do subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out the Facebook page as well. Leave your comments below and we'll see you next time.